Hey, how's it going everybody? It's gonna be an unboxing video. I just got a pretty decent size tackle warehouse order that came in and then I've had a few real small orders that have come in, um, you know, one or two lures here and there. And I decided to put it all together and make an unboxing video during this um, lockdown period. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Got a lot of different stuff, so let's get started. Uh, first things first, these are the new Plano Rust Stricter boxes. It's supposed to have, so it says, blocks rust five times longer. Rust Stricter technology delivers 360 degrees of protection by infusing the entire stowaway with a leading rust preventative. So just your standard 3700 size boxes. <clears throat> Nothing too fancy, got three of them. They're only like $9. Get those out of the way and then get into the good stuff. And then I bought a few cheaper lures, some Chinese knockoff lures from uh, a guy offline. Basically what happens is people get a hold of the moldings for some more popular companies like Mega Bass or Duo Realis and they basically build the same crankbait. Doesn't have the same internals but it does have the same body. So. That's what these are. These are knockoffs of a uh, flap chat. And they're silent. I can just feel how cheap they are. But uh, you know, a lot of times they have very close to the same action, if not the same action. They just have a different internal. So they may not have um, the beads or the rattles or um, the weight transfer system, which this does not have a weight transfer system. It's very light and it does not have rattles. but. Hardware is real cheap, it comes with, I'll change all that stuff out, but it'll be a silent. It's kind of a uh, mixture of a jerkbait and a crankbait, so you can kind of do both with it. Um, just got in some real basic colors, three of them. Guy only charged me like six dollars for, for each bait. And uh, you can feel they're just, they're cheaply made, but that doesn't mean they won't catch fish. So, thought I'd give them a shot like that color a lot there. Um, but you can see it's got the weights on the bottom so it it uh, has a little bit of weight to it when you cast. And then it'll be belly down when it floats. But thought, hey, why not? It's worth a try. And uh, bought three of those. Let's get into the good stuff. I'm just gonna grab all right, so here is the Spro Bronze Eye Frog. A lot of these orders are frog swim jig related, um, just because the last time I went out, that's what the, that's what they were hitting. And then I get into these modes where if I start getting bit on stuff, I like to add to that collection a lot. So obviously it's coming up on summertime, the frog bite's gonna get going. I do have a few Bronze Eye Frogs uh, made by Spro, but they have a bunch of crazy colors and I, and I like to try the crazy colors, stuff that I know a lot of people don't have, so. This is the, I think it's called the Halloween pumpkin. So it's got that orange belly with the black. Um, I, I, I like to buy frogs that have the uh, lines on the stomach because if you've ever really seen any of the frogs that are local here in San Diego, none of them have just a bare white stomach. A lot of them have the white stomach with the black lines. So this is an orange one with the black lines and it's got the red stripe, which the bass are never gonna see this part most likely. I mean, sometimes when you rip them and you're getting them turning good, they roll a little bit, but uh, I like the red more so I can see it and track it in the water. And then it's got a green pumpkin and a brown skirt. So. Here's a KVD Sexy Frog. Um, I have, I think, only one of these and I never really throw it, but they do have good reviews. A lot of people seem to like them a lot. Um, this color, I just threw the box. I think it's called Kamikaze. Yeah, it's called Kamikaze. Um, little light blue color there. And then obviously you've got the yellow and the blue skirts uh, for the legs. And I'll trim those up and bend the hooks out. But, um, I like how it's got the, the arms that come down. It's pretty realistic. Uh, a little bit different than the Spro's and then I like the red eyes a lot so thought I'd give that crazy color a try again that's called kamikaze Let's see what we got 
got here. All right. These are just uh, skirts. So I can, I've got a couple jackhammers that the skirts have been blown off and I just have the heads on there, which you can fish them like that, more finessey style. But these are some boss skirts. I hear a lot of good things about these. So I can kind of create my own color of chatterbait that I want to with these skirts. And this color is called, I believe it's called Blue Army, or Army Blue Bars. So it's a green pumpkin and blue. Kind of get a mixture of both worlds with that black blue and then the green pumpkin so i'll be creating some jackhammer colors or some jackhammer skirts and maybe i'll show them to you guys this is the picasso lure swim jig um i've never thrown their swim jig but i do throw a lot of picasso lure stuff this is a smaller one obviously it's only a quarter ounce and just a real basic shad color but um uh, you know, I've kind of gotten into the swim jig game lately and I wanted to throw it a lot this year and I don't have any quarter ounce size, so bought myself a quarter ounce and um, it's just called the swim jig. And again, I'll link this stuff below so you guys can, all this stuff will be linked below in my description so you guys can check it out if you want. This I've been trying to get and waiting for for a long time. This is the King Daddy by Spro. Um, it's Bronze Eye King Daddy 90. So it's basically a lot bigger version than the other bronze eye frog. This is for, I'll be fishing this for mats, heavy cheese mats. This color I think is called just like a natural green. So nothing too fancy, but I'll, I'll show you the belly. Um, this is for heavy mats, heavy vegetation, where you need to create a disturbance over those mats. So a lot of like when I go fishing on Clear Lake and stuff, um, I always throw my heavy, heavy frogs to, to get up on those mats and just create a disturbance so those frogs down below know that, you know, hey, there's something up there and I, and I probably want to eat it. So I went out and got this thing and that's exactly what this is for. Um, this thing is massive. Um, so I'm sure I'm going to miss a ton of bites on this thing, but it will do its job. I know it'll do its job. And, um call up some bass from areas that you might not get with a regular frog and again there's the lines on the belly that i like to usually get um, so i'm really looking forward i've been waiting to get this thing for a long time and every single time i just never order it and i don't know why so finally i pulled the trigger all right this is a fish labs uh, rattle frog these are kind of new um, i don't think these have the best reputation ever but this is another big frog and that's why i got it very similar to the, the king daddy um, not as big as the king daddy but definitely bigger than the standard frog and they call it the rattle frog because it's got built-in rattle system inside of it uh, it's actually bigger than i expected it to be which is nice because again with that rattle and with the big body this is going to be something i'm throwing into heavy vegetation i'm not going to be walking this um, I'm just going to be kind of hopping it or dragging it over heavy vegetation. So, see if you guys can hear the rattle. Really faint sound, really faint rattle sound. And you could always add rattles to frogs. I do that a lot. Um, I do that usually in Clear Lake. But it's got, uh, you know, the, the toad bumps on the back. And it's just a bigger overall frog. And it's, again, it's got that rattle. Um, the only issue I can see with having that rattle system, I don't know how good you guys can see it, but you that's as far down as this frog will squeeze. So I'm gonna have to bend these hooks way, way, way up. The good thing is, is it's, it's pretty thick, so it should be high off the vegetation. So bending these hooks up shouldn't really hurt it, but I'm excited to throw that. I haven't really heard too many people talk about it, which is usually a bad thing, but most people kind of stick to one frog and I like to branch out. So I'll give it a shot. I'll let you guys know what I think. Um, but see, that's the only issue that I'm a little bit afraid of with that rattle system in there. It doesn't collapse all the way like you'd want. So I'm gonna have to bend these way up. But nice color, nice texture. I like how they made it, uh, you know, realistic on the top like that with those toad bumps there. That's the fish lab rattle frog. All right, here's the Gambler. This is their goat swim jig. Um, I'm promotional staff for Gambler and I'm promotional staff for Gambler because I like Gambler products. So I do have a few of these already, the goat swim jig. This is in their purple, black, and blue, which I couldn't get off their site, but I could get it off Tackle Warehouse. 
Um, Gambler's a big Florida company. They fish Okeechobee. They fish that thick vegetation. And a lot of people have been throwing this goat swim jig. It's made for pulling through some heavy cover. So I'm excited to throw that. That is the 5 sixteenths ounce size. So this is another size that I don't have. All right, another uh, bronze eye frog. This one's called, the color is called Freak. Um, obviously it's crazy color on the top, but again, let's check out the bottom to see what the frog's actually, or the bass is actually gonna see. So you've got that black belly and then you've got the yellow lines on it. So just something that's completely different. And uh, again, man, it's crazy how small these frogs feel after I grab those bigger frogs. But um, I like that they already have the, the legs pretty much trimmed down to where I want them, which is usually I hang them and I line them up with the nose, the strands up with the nose, and then I cut it. They pretty much already do that for me. So it's got the spot that I want those legs. I won't have to trim them. Collapse is real easy. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to throw it. It feels so small after feeling those other ones. But again, I like having those bright colors on the top. It's, it helps me track the frog a lot easier. It just makes me feel better. I don't know, it's like a comfort thing. All right, I wanted to save this for last, but pulled it out anyways. I'm sure you guys have seen this. It's nothing crazy new, but this is the Savage Gear 3D Snake in Rattlesnake. Uh, I know this sounds nuts and people like look at this and they laugh, but I guarantee you, guarantee you I'm gonna catch some fish on this thing. We do have rattlesnakes in San Diego and I have seen three just last year swimming across the tops of our lakes. So big wake bait 12 inches I went with a bigger one and uh, it's kind of just one of those things that I'm excited to throw because it it's gonna be cool to catch a fish on it and I'm excited to do a little review on this so stay tuned for that but I will, I am gonna get a bass on this 3D snake. Been waiting to get it for a while and I'm glad I pulled the trigger finally. Here's more of the boss skirts. That's more of a crawdad color. It's got the brown with the orange. I looked a little bit more red on Tackle Warehouse so when I pulled it out, I was kind of disappointed um, that that's not really red, it's more of an orange, but again, that's more of a dingier color, dingy water, and that's called Oklahoma Special. So, again, this could be for chatter baits, this could be for um, spinner baits, either or. So, got some other spinner baits that the skirts are shot on them, so I can make new spinner baits with them, and obviously the jackhammers as well. So, I'm excited for those. Never done that before, it's something new. Um, just got a hook in my finger, which is awesome. All right, these are something I got offline. Some of the baits that I'll be pulling out here are ones that I got offline, not off Tackle Warehouse. That's a, uh, a new balsa bait that I got that cost a lot more money than I want to tell you it did. And uh, I know that my wife won't watch my videos, so I don't have to worry about it. But only 300 of these were made. This is number 288. A lot of people buy these to collect them. I buy them to fish them. I don't collect, I fish. Um, I collect stuff, but I use it. So I will be using this. I'm excited, it's a thicker version. Big old, that color is always money here in San Diego, really underrated. That lighter chartreuse with the light uh, blue back. So excited to throw that. Um, I'm not gonna tell you guys what company that is because it's already a pain in the butt for me to get it. And um, I don't wanna create more uh, more of a challenge for myself so sorry about that but this is the california swim jig this is real popular with tactical bass and matt allen tim little they helped design the california swim jig it's got a real meaty hook on it for those big clear lake fish this is called um shad the color is called shad i actually did not mean to order this and when I got it, I checked uh, my receipt and apparently I ordered two of them in two different sizes, but I don't remember doing that. No, I don't drink alcohol, so I wasn't drunk when I made this Tackle Warehouse lockdown order. I don't know what the heck happened. I was trying to get the Dirty Jig Swim Jig, the California Swim Jig, but not in this color. Um, again, it's a basic shad color. You know, we'll see how, we'll see how it goes. But again, uh, let's see what size. 
and that's three eighths. So every one I've pulled out so far has been a different size and the next one is gonna be a half ounce in that same color, I believe. Um, what else do we have here? All right. Okay, this next one, um, this is called the Burner Spinner Bait by Strike King. They no longer make this anymore. It comes with the trailer hook. And what I was a little bit disappointed is in is this piece right here does not come off the hook. And that piece is there to prevent your trailer hook from going up the hook any farther. So it's flat like that when you swim it. But these are made to be burned across the top. I mean, real fast. Um, there is videos of these on YouTube that I've been watching before I bought them. And it's basically almost like you're waking this spinnerbait across the top. These blades are thinner and uh, in diameter. And then um, they call them the, the razor blades. R-A-Z-R and then blade. So this is meant to, they call it the burner spinnerbait. It's meant to be burned across the top, but you can't take the trailer hook off and put a trailer on there. I was trying to put like a fluke on there or something with a fast tail and this does not come off. Now I may be able to cut it off and I did buy two of them, but we'll see. So that's the burner spinnerbait, more clear water. And uh, when those shads start getting boiled on, that's something I could throw in there. Um, and, and when you're burning it, you do want that trailer hook. But I mean, I got two of them, so it may be something I want to try is just with the fluke trailer. Um, here, this bait right here is impossible to find. Not the bait itself, but the color. Um, and I bought it because it's very rare. It's called Scarlet. This is the Duo Realis M62 5A crankbait. Um, these are awesome crankbaits. I like them a lot. I've done some damage on them in the past. And uh, this color, it's got that one knocker. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But this color is called Scarlet. And you could not find this color. Um, you're not getting this one off Tackle Warehouse. I could promise you that. And people pay big bucks to get this color. So whenever something's rare like that, I always want it. I ended up buying two of them. And I didn't have to pay a crazy price. At least in my eyes, I didn't have to pay a crazy price. Um, and the people that searched for these when they found out how much I got it for were very jealous. So that's the scarlet color. Um, you'll see them on eBay every now and again and they go for way too much money on eBay. So I don't even mess with them on eBay. I get them, uh, again, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you exactly where I got them from because I hopefully I'll be doing business with this person again. But again, that's the Duo Realis M62 5A crankbait in the scarlet color. And again, I'll be throwing that. I'm not, I'm not afraid to throw rare stuff. You lose it, you lose it. It is what it is. But uh, I, I want to catch fish. I don't want to stare at them in a tackle box. All right. Like I was saying, I do throw rattles in my frogs. These are the rattles that I like to throw in. These are the Jean LaRue glass rattles. They come in a pack of 15. They're cheap. And you just pop them in your frog. Um, sometimes they're very... The holes in the frogs on the bottom are too big and these glass rattles will fall out well, what i do with that is i just wrap like tape around them the last time i did this i wrapped athletic tape around them um, just made them thicker and um, it doesn't you can still hear the rattles and everything inside the frogs and then i just shove them up in there and uh, they don't come out I've, i haven't had them come out and if they do it comes in a pack of 15. If they do fall out, it comes in a pack of 15 and they're cheap, so it's not that big of a deal. But these are glass rattles. And I like to put, you can put one, two, you can even put three in the frogs. And that's for the heavy vegetation. That's when I'm going to have it over that heavy vegetation. And those bigger frogs, I'm throwing some rattles in there. Um, let's see, I got anything else? A few other things. Uh, that's the last frog, I believe. This is the Booyah Pad Crasher. I have heard a ton about the Booyah Pad Crasher. That's all, I mean, the pros throw it. Again, they're all sponsored stuff, so you gotta kinda take it with a grain of salt when they say they're throwing it. Well, they all have Booyah on their jersey, so of course they're throwing it, but um, this one, I'm on a couple frog pages online, and people swear by the Booyah Pad, pad Crasher. So I decided to try it out. Everybody's favorite color seems to be smoky. And when I went to order it, Smokey, there was only a few of them left and everything else had like 10 plus. So 
for whatever reason, people really love this frog in this color. And again, I don't have any pad crashers, so I wanted to give it a try. Um, really weird color. It's like a, I mean, just what it is. It says smoky. It's like a smoke color with black flake all throughout and then a gray and black legs. Um, and again, I'll trim those legs. Um, I just put the strands down like this, pull them down, and then I trim them to where the nose is. And again, these feel really small after I handled those big ones, but we'll see. People swear by this thing. It is really soft. I mean, that folds down really easily, so that's nice. Um, and I, I'll bend the hook up, hooks up like I always do. We'll see what happens. I'll give you guys honest reviews on, on everything that I buy. Let's see. There's that... Uh, this is going to be the half ounce. Yep, there's the half ounce again. I don't even remember getting this. I wanted to get the dirty jigs, but I don't. I didn't necessarily want that color. But it is what it is. Um, it is a shad color, and I know it's going to get bit. Um, I just wish I would have got one more different color um, along with that color. There's the other burner spinner bait that I showed you guys, made from Strike King. Three blades again, right across the top. One more thing, two more things I like. I don't even know how I get ESPN updates during this lockdown, but it's probably something stupid. All right, these are the fat-free shads, but these aren't the fat-free shads that you can get on Tackle Warehouse. Again, this is from somebody that I know that has rare crankbaits, brand new in the boxes. This is the fat-free fingerling Bill Dance edition. So these came out a long time ago. This is a 20 plus year old bait. I think it's actually not that old. I think it's like 16 or 17 years old, um, the early 2000s. But it's very small crankbait, um, not very big at all. That's why they call it the fingerling. The ones that you can get now are the, the fat free shads. The fat free shad's way bigger than this. This is the mini fat free shad. And then that has the real Excalibur hooks. And if you guys don't know what the Excalibur hooks are, I don't know how good that's going to show up and how good you can see it, but they have a twisting motion on them, and I like them a lot. I grew up fishing them, and now I can, you can never find them unless they're on the, on these. So this is the Excalibur Bill Dance version, fat-free fingerlings. These aren't that rare. You can find them on eBay. Um, I love the size. They dive 10 to 12 feet, and they just get bit. I've got a few of them now. Um, whenever I see them pop up for sale, I got these two for 20 bucks. Um, Ship two for 20 to my door so great deal and uh, there's just a white shad version right there but great small little finesse crankbait and i'm telling you what that thing does work very very underrated bait that never really got um talked about that often but now you see people buying them up quick um, maybe that's why it wasn't talked about but that's the fat free fingerling from excalibur it's just no longer around anymore that's gonna do it. That's all I got for you guys. Um, you know, pretty okay size order, nothing too crazy, but I'm um, trying not to spend too much money during this lockdown. But I appreciate you guys tuning in. Again, all this stuff will be linked in the description below if you guys wanna check it out. And I will keep doing as many videos as I can, whether it's unboxing stuff about my kayak, older fishing videos that I still have. I'm gonna keep the videos coming every Tuesday and Thursday, stay with me. If you guys haven't hit that subscribe button yet and you hung around this long, you might as well subscribe. I don't try to make my videos this long, but again, this is an unboxing. So hopefully you tackle, hopefully you guys that love tackle, um, you tackle junkies, you stuck around, you watch this video the whole way through, hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'd really appreciate it as well as a thumbs up and I'll be back soon.